in this section of campus network design and operations, we're going to be talking about IP addressing. What are IP addresses? Internet connected networks use two type of IP addressing. IPv4, which is very common these days and is now considered legacy internet protocol. Remember that we're running out of IPv4 addressing, so the new internet protocol that is being pushed is now IPv6. This presentation describes IPv4 addresses and IPv6 addresses and addressing in general. The campus network design workshop uses both IPv4 and IPv6 for all exercises. This means we're using dual stack networks and we have both protocols running in parallel. What is an IPv4 address? An IPv4 address is a 32-bit binary number. When we talk about binary numbers, remember we mean all ones and zeros. So if you have a 32-bit binary number, how many unique addresses would you have in total? For those of you that are not very good in binary mathematics, we'll just show you. You will have to the power of 32 unique addresses, which is more than 4 billion 200 million addresses. IPv4 addresses are conventionally represented as four dotted decimal octets. If you turn on all the bits, you will have 32 ones, which is also represented in decimal by 255.255.255.255. .255 .255. Remember we said at the beginning that IPv4 addresses are represented as four dotted decimal octets. We do this so that we can remember IPv4 addresses easily. If we were to remember IPv4 addresses using binary, it would be almost be impossible for us to remember. So can you explain why you have one 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 eight ones? equal to 255 in decimal. Remember, we're talking about binary mathematics. So each bit is basically to the power of two. The first bit is two to the power of zero. The second bit is two to the power of one. This is from the right and so on to the eighth bit, which is two to the power of seven. If you do binary mathematics, it means that one, 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 this is eight ones in binary is the same as two to the power of zero times one plus two to the power of one times one plus two to the power of two times one plus two to the power of three times one plus two to the power of four times one plus two to the power of five times one plus two to the power of six times one and two to the power of seven times one if you expand that you're going to have one plus two plus four plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 which will give you 255. As you can see on the screen each bit corresponds to a power of 2 as indicated. We're going to show you an, another example of an IPv4 address. As you can see on the screen the IPv4 address is 128.223.157.19. Please remember that IPv4 addresses are represented as four dotted decimal octets. If you were to remember the binary digits, as I said previously, it would be almost impossible. In this case, the IP address 128.223.157.19 is represented by the binary digits shown on the screen. Can you explain why 0001 is 19? Okay, we'll show you on the next slide how we arrive to that conclusion. Remember with binary mathematics, each digit is to the power of two. As you can see on the screen, 0001 has 8 bits. So the first bit is going to be 2 to the power of 0. This is the one on the right. This is the least significant bit, followed by the second digit, as we had shown you previously. The second bit is also 1, which is also 2 to the power of 1. The third and fourth bits are 0, 
The fifth bit is 1. In this case, it's 2 to the power of 4. The 6, 7th, and 8th bits are 0 in this case. So if you were to convert this to decimal, you would have 2 to the power of 0 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 2 times 0 plus 2 to the power of 3 times 0 plus 2 to the power of 4 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 5 times 0 plus 2 to the power of 6 times 0 plus 2 to the power of 7 times 0. If you tabulate this, you would have it being 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 16 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 19. Remember, only the bits that are 1 are going to be converted to the decimal number. Otherwise, to the power of anything times 0 is also 0. So that's why you arrived at 19.